us. Yeah, I know, I got a canoe. So, as you guys can see behind me, finally open water in New Hampshire. Just like a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, this pond was completely frozen over, but not anymore. Can I see this on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be on YouTube. Really? Yep. Yeah, Dersh. Yeah, make fishing videos. He's got some killer ones. His last ice fishing one, we caught five fish and just killed it. All five yeah. were over two pounds. It was amazing. So I brought three rods with me today. Unfortunately, when I packed my stuff this morning, I completely forgot to pack flukes with me. So instead of having a weightless fluke on, I'm just gonna have a weightless paddle tail. And then I'm gonna have a swim jig. A what? Weightless paddle tail? Yeah. This is what I got. Yeah. And then for like a moving bait, um, because it is supposed to be sunny out, a little bit breezy, I think this little inline spinner will work perfect this time of the year. I just kind of look at like an inline spinner as a finesse spinner bait. So before the water gets up to 45, 50 degrees, I usually up for an inline spinner before I go to just a regular spinner bait. So I slip that on the J hook and then like put one of the hooks in the bait too. They're fucking anywhere. Yep. Yeah, yesterday I think they would have been off the shoreline. She popped her. Yeah. No, I was doing that build just so they can see it on their computer. Push it up, I mean. Dude, this rod is definitely a little bit too stiff for my inline spinner. Not if you got a cup of hook on. You bring worm? And bobber? Nope. I would never. So the next lure I'm going to be trying out are these Kitek Easy Shiners. This color is Chartreuse Shad. And they're about four inches. And this bait here, I can actually fish obviously way slower than the inline spinner. It's only about like two, three feet deep in this area where we're fishing. I think um, if I can run this super slow, just drag it along the bottom, um, I'll be able to trick a fish. I mean more. Uh, I think that was more. Um, dude, this swim bait for such a little swim bait has such good action in this cold water. Come on, son, come back out. Oh, 
Got him. Bad. Nice. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, okay, now I'm starting to feel good. About Let's go. Oh, what's the date? First bass for me. What is it? March 25th? That's about right. Yeah. And we're fishing open water too. Dude, with how cold it was this winter, I didn't think I'd be fishing open water till April. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for. Yeah, I can't hit those. It's too shallow with my. I never hit record on my GoPro on those last two fish. So neither of those fish are. You're gonna have to catch two more then. In how long? Well, you shut it off to save. Oh, um, that's what didn't it? Saving battery. Yeah, yep. I didn't turn it on. Yep. That's uh disappointing to say the least. Well, since the last clip you saw, I've caught two more fish, but I thought my GoPro was recording and it wasn't, unfortunately. I caught one bass, which was about a pound and a half, and then I caught one pickerel too, which was only about maybe 12 inches. Well, since I missed those two fish, hopefully I'll catch a couple more today at least. Little. Oh, bigger. It grew. It grew. It grew. Nice, dude. Another bass, dude. Know. No. <laughs> but I thought it was a perch at first, so. Nice. I was ready just in case, though. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, so fourth fish today. And I mean, this pond was covered in ice just a couple days ago. Oh no, my new blue combo. It's nice how I'm catching all bass today too. Pretty much, yeah. Better. Um, I took the uh, zip tie off the reel. Yeah, that's gotta be uncomfortable, I imagine. Yeah. Like, that was a weed. That was not a fish. Like, what I had before yeah, was totally a fish. The before. Oh, yeah, that was a weed, I know it. Oh, it is perch. Got him. Oh, that's a good one, too, yeah. dude. Little fatty. Like, Stop, stop, stop. All right, cool. <clears throat> now, like I said earlier, in my opinion, this inline spinner is just kind of like a finesse spinner bait. And in this cold water, I really think downsizing my bait is helping me catch numbers. And I forgot what I was gonna say after that. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Another reason why I think this inline spinner is doing so well is because all winter long, these fish have been feeding on like little shiners. And this imitates like a uh, little minnow underneath the water. 